Good afternoon, traders. This is MR Strategies on the uh, 8th of November. I have not been on in a while. Uh, there's been a ton of volatility and it's been extremely busy. But I did want to take the time out to pretty much reinforce what I've been extending for quite a while since I've established this, these particular strategies that I use and I share with other traders is remains the same and it's always just paying attention to your your moving averages and believe it or not you know there's there's all the all, people always talk about how you know oh, everybody uses trend lines and you know what use they are and trust me as simple as they are to apply they're even more beneficial to your trading success and I'm just going to briefly show you exactly what I mean here so you know we made this high before this market rolled up here around 4300 ES and you can see we rolled through all the moving averages and the 200 which I believe any event, we rolled into and then we came right back up and established this high. All right. And we rolled again. And this trend line, this is one key trend line I put out. And I want you to see how well this has played out. After the market rolled and then we went into a bear market, all the price stayed below the moving averages. And then we came up and challenged and they rolled over again. And then they made an extreme bottom. Okay, do I believe this is the bottom for good? I don't know. Nobody truly knows. And, you know, the problem is also is there's so much disinformation out there that you can't get caught up into that. And what's, what happens with the volatility and the extent is that traders get really aggressive. Now, this low right here, obviously, it was so oversold. In fact, I think this was the end of the month. I don't know. Actually, the end of the month was over here. It was like 35 or, yeah, like 35.98. We gapped. That was the day that uh, they had that huge reversal. And by the opening, we, we opened up all the way down here. Now, that was a total value play. That, that You know, you want to take your opportunities in these oversold extreme sell-offs. Obviously, you don't want to get run over. You want to wait for confirmation. You know, they rammed them all the way up and ran them all the way back up by the end of the day on that particular session. And then everybody started to jump on it. And then they tried to roll them one more time right here. Okay. And it held. And this was probably right around where they were starting to fire up all the elections. You know, we're running into these midterm elections. You know, Biden's not looking too good here. And they need to they need to prop this market up. I'm not saying they did, but you know, the point is is you know, they they ram them up so hard and then you get in these retail traders and then they kind of lean on the possibility that oh, maybe the Fed is not going to raise rates or they're going to go from 75 75 basis to a half to a quarter. And reality is they're not. But you know what? This is how aggressive traders try to take advantage of getting in before any type of news is and then, and then when they do and I I want you to take a look at these highs cuz this is proving my point about the trend lines. Here we came up here 3900. I've been talking about it with my students for about a month. I go I could see us getting to 39 and then it's going to be decision time and lo and behold they hung up here and then they got the 3 quarter pre quarter rate rate hike which they said they were going to put out. Nothing has changed. So, I mean, the best thing you can do as a trader is pay attention to what really, if you're going to go data to data, then pay attention to all those particular, uh, you know, numbers and see whether or not they are softening up. And maybe, and just maybe, that might be the time when the, when the Fed starts to lighten up. But right now, they're telling you that they're going to continue to, to raise rates. And there's no reason to chase the market at these levels. Anybody up in this area 
just got killed. And that's what happens. They, you get caught up here. It's the peak. And everybody thinks there's going to be a breakout. What breakout? Better yet, here, take a look at this. Okay, this is... Well, my glasses aren't functioning very well, but this high was somewhere around 4,100. A little over 4,100, okay? We broke to 35. It's about 600, well, 600 spoon points, all right? And we came all the way to about halfway back, 50%. They raised rates. Look at a sell-off that came down. We came right down to this number, 3,700 halfway back of this move all percentages and now you can see price is trying to hold the 200 which is right here but all these lows were, were like overnight lows the openings the markets held the 200 which is important for now so and in fact this is kind of a trap developing will it be a bull trap bear trap i don't know you know it looking like it wants to break out or get into the end of the year it's possible but at the end of the day it's all about paying attention to all this stuff and you know you can see this trend line. I established this after this low. And look at this. We've held price. And this is overnight. So it tells you how significant this support level really is. You know, at the time, I think the 200 was a little bit lower. And in this area, that's why they, nobody wanted to push it overnight. And by the time we opened up, they held it. And they ran it higher. And now we're trying to push again. And look at today's high. Right to the trend line. 38.70. Right to the price. And you got yourself... A 40 handle break off of that you know it's just extreme trading and this is how you have to pay attention to the extreme locations in the market the oversolds the overbought's a little bit run up a little ahead of themselves running into it they're testing it you know they're gonna wait I don't know what they're what they're looking for I'm not sure of what what is gonna be more positive for the market but, you know, at the end of the day let them figure it out just be patient and don't get caught up into it play the value Good luck, traders, and feel free to reach out. Have a great day.